be the second bell. Fashionably late now. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I didn't realize I was watched so closely. All eyes are upon you, Inquisitor. Indeed, you distract from more important matters. Such as? Such as the unwelcome guest I recently found and killed within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. Someone will be held accountable for this. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. This was no servant. What was he doing here? Does this guy seem out of place to anyone else? The crest of the Shalom family. Duke Gaspard will answer for this. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> Venatory agents! 
That must be the Venatori leader. Venatori were watching this approach. They're organized.
Fancy meeting you here. So, you're Inquisitor Trevelyan. I'm surprised they got you sobered up and dressed for this party. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Impressive shot, Ambassador. Welcome to the Imperial Court, friend. This is our diplomacy at work. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easy going for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? Inquisitor Trevelyan. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orlais, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? My advisors keep me informed. One would hope the Inquisition's leaders had a proper understanding of politics. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I'm here to make sure it doesn't. Perhaps the Maker truly has sent you to us. The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. There's no need for concern. I've come here to help Ole. Helping Orle has a variety of meanings depending on whom you ask. Kindness to some is cruelty to others. You cannot be a savior to them all. To some you must be a monster. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? I believe the ambassador is my best ally.
How far will you go, I wonder, for the sake of that allegiance? It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. You have little time. <laughs> the attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspard's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. May Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. Maker's breath, you dance with the Grand Duchess and I didn't prepare you. Are you all right? The Duchess had some interesting things to say. Of that, I have no doubt. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. How should I support Briala? I assume she can't be Empress. She can't. She can, however, be the power behind the throne. With Gaspard. True. She could never control Selene, not with their history. So Selene dies and Gaspard takes the throne. Briala would need a way to control him, some kind of leverage. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing. That he knows about the assassination, which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Remember, you can find me also on Twitch, Twitter and Facebook. For my non-Star Wars activities, I invite you to subscribe to my second YouTube channel.